Hello everyone. Today we are going to see on campus coding questions on Flint Lab. It is a software company. You can search about this company in LinkedIn. Okay. And this is a software company uh, to which we have faced the exam recently in our campus. And uh, for coming about this campus uh, placement strategy, they are providing a written exam or uh, you should write on a paper using a pen. And they have given two coding questions in any of the language you are preferred with and multiple choice on OSA layers and um, operating systems and network security based on those topics they have uh, given and you have to attempt both the multiple choice questions as well as the coding questions in this video you are going to see the two coding questions they have given okay let us discuss those the first question they has given is print duplicate elements in array you can print the duplicate elements given array this is the input they have given an input and you have to print the duplicate elements in it what are the duplicate elements 4 and 5 are the duplicate elements output should be 4 and 5 for this i am using the hash map okay you can use any of the method you like but this is the question print duplicate elements in the array okay let us see the logic later on we will implement the code also in online compiler okay and this is the logic consider an hash map okay you uh, consider these elements the logic behind is that uh, if this element is not present in the hash map just push it into the hash map and make count as one okay uh, first of all no elements in the hash map okay now run a for loop and this array now your index is at 4 4 initially is not in the hash map so push it into the hash map 4 you have pushed it into the hash map and make the count as 1 okay then i plus plus 5 5 is not in the hash map push it into the hash map and make its count as 1 okay again i plus plus 6 6 is not in the hash map push it and make its count as 1 okay 7 7 is not present and push it into the hash map and make its count as 1 now i plus plus 4 4 already exists in the hash map so you should not push the 4 into the hash map you just increment its count by 1 okay then it count becomes 2 okay again i plus plus 8 8 is not in the hash map push it and make its count as 1 okay 9 9 is not in the hash map push it and make its count as 1 now 5 5 is already exists in the hash map so it don't push 5 into the hash map just increment its count to 2 now the uh, now access its values the key values the values which are greater than 1 that means which are greater than 1 means 2 2 yes no so these are duplicate elements that occurred more than once so you have to print these elements by accessing key and values then how can you do this problem let us code this program and let us understand the functions and interfaces methods i have used in this program okay let us run it on the online compiler see this is the online gdb compiler uh, i have coded this already now i will explain each and every step okay uh, first declare the main class okay and public static void main now i have taken the input they have given that is 4567 4895 this is the input they have given first what i have to do i have to create a hash map to store the frequency of each element okay hash map integer come integer because you are storing keys as well as the values the keys are the elements and the values are its frequencies okay using the hmap hmap hp is the object of this hash map okay this is the way to declare the hash map okay now you have uh, created a hash map to store the frequency of each element now step two is the traverse the array for this using you have to use for loop to traverse the entire array okay for int k in the array you have a array 
called array okay now you have to run this uh, entire array. you have to travel this entire array okay what i have already mentioned to you if the element already exists then you should increment its count by one if not just put it and make it count as one i have already uh, told you no see here if the element uh, doesn't exist make its count as one if the element already exists increment its count by one this is the thing i have already discussed with you this is the code for it if hp hp means this is the object of hash map if hash map contains key what is key k k what is k the element you are you are accessing if four if 4 is already present in the hash map, just increment it counts. K, HP dot get K and access its present frequency and increment it by 1. Okay. If already present, increment its frequency by 1. Else, other otherwise, add the element to the hash map and initialize its count by 1. If the element already in the map, increase its count. If not, uh, uh, if not add the element into the map and increment it um, initial count as one this is the thing you are doing with for loop you have to run a for loop if hp dot contains key hp dot put just uh, initialize in increase its count otherwise put that is the thing here okay now you are you have to print the duplicate elements this is the step three system dot out dot print element duplicate elements in the array for map dot map dot entry integer comma integer i hp dot entry set what is this method for let us see this uh, detailed description now okay what is the function of map dot entry integer comma integer okay let us see that see map dot entry it is an interface allows to access the key value pairs stored in hash map the hash map deals with key value pairs now you have to access the keys and values of the hash map so what you have to use you have to use the interface map dot entry map dot entry is an interface allows you to access key value pairs stored in hash map okay entry set it is a method returns the set of view of all key value pairs in the map okay these are the two uh, things you are using over there to access the key value pairs and to return the view of all the pairs and entry dot get key returns the keys of the hash map that are these are the elements and entry dot get value returns the values of the hash map okay these are the methods you are using in this problem okay the map dot entry is an interface that is used to access the key value pairs and hp dot entry set will print them okay now using for loop you are iterating i dot get value if the get value means it it access the frequency of the elements if the frequency is greater than one what you have to do you have to just print those okay i hope you got it first you have to uh, uh, put the elements into the hash map if it is already exists make its frequency incremented by one if not exists just put the add the element into the hash map and initialize its frequency as one now you have to print the duplicate elements for that you are using an interface as well as a method and this interface access the key value pairs and it prints them okay now what you are doing you are checking if its frequency is greater than one then it is a duplicate element then you are printing i dot get value means you are printing that element you are getting and you are printing you you has to uh, first get the element from the hash map then you have to print for this also first you have to get the frequency of each element then you have to check if it is greater than one or not that is the thing with the hash map now just uh, just run this program whether it is uh, implementing correct or not okay these are the what are the duplicate elements four and five are the duplicate elements now for now uh, let us change the elements uh, seven to six okay then six also occurred twice now what your output should be four five six or that's the thing no three numbers are uh, occurred twice see four five six so this code is executing perfectly well okay if you want this code i will put it in the description don't worry
or description or comment section i will pin it in comment section don't worry that is the thing with this question i hope you got it if not you can ask the chat gpt also it will give uh, in a good way and ask to explain the code so that you can get a clear idea it is uh, important coding question so uh, prepare it well okay I have already mentioned you previously that in this uh, Flint Lab on campus coding, they have asked two coding questions. First one is uh, print the duplicate elements in the array, and the second one is rotate the elements of an array by k. Okay, this is the second question. They have given input. This is an array. They have given this input, and they have also given this k value. Now what you have to do, you have to uh, rotate the elements by the value k. Okay, for this you have to use left rotation and right right rotation. Now the logic is very simple. Okay, you have to just know three points and you have to know the reverse function. That's all. Then you can easily do this problem. Okay, the logic over is is reverse the entire array first in order to, they are asking to rotate only the k elements. So what should be the output? See, k is three. No. now you have to uh, rotate only three elements so output should be 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 it it should be the uh, output that means same one you have to do two and you have to and you have to uh, shift those elements and that 5 6 7 will come front okay okay rotate the elements by the value k first reverse the entire array okay in order to gain the output first you have to do reverse the entire array now after reversing the entire array this will be the output okay now reverse the first three elements as the k value is 3 okay after reversing first three characters this is the thing 5 6 7 got reversed and remaining elements uh, will be there as it is okay 4 3 2 1 now reverse the remaining elements now make these elements as it is and reverse these elements so this is your final output this is the logic with this question okay now let us implement in online compiler okay this is the code for that question i have already implemented and i have also mentioned the comments so that you can understand in a A good way okay what the thing they have given they have given an array and they have asked you to number of positions to rotate okay k value is equals to 3 call the function rotate array now what what i have already said to you uh, rotate you have to know two functions first one is the reverse function and other one is rotate function okay call the function to rotate the array first you have to rotate the entire array okay now uh, uh, you have to call this function so after calling this function you will go to this you will go here what you are passing you are passing array and k value now you are you are at here a uh, rotate function what the rotate function will do means first it will calculate the length of the array okay what i have uh, already mentioned you the logic three steps reverse the entire array reverse the first k elements reverse the remaining n minus k elements okay for that you have to call the functions uh, reverse array comma up to where 0 to n minus 1 and this is up to k means 0 to k minus 1 and this is k to n minus 1 okay these are the functions to be called the function you uh, have implemented or here what is the reverse function you already know the it is a basic function reverse function is the basic function what you have to do start should be always less than the end now you will uh, shuffle the first and last element so that you will uh, get the reverse of the uh, array okay int temp is equals to array dot start start element first you will uh, put it in a temp element temp variable now you will swap the elements this is the swapping process in order to reverse the elements okay this is the program to reverse the elements okay just learn it until start is less than end now you have to swap the elements half uh, for all them you are uh, calling this reverse element now after reversing you will get uh, you will uh, this rotate function will give the output to the rotate now arrays dot to string you will give an output let us run the program 
whether it is implementing in a correct way or not okay this is the output uh, you need yes no now um, if you want to uh, get the output of everything you can also get the output okay this is the these are the two questions that were asked in flint lab on campus coding questions okay i have already mentioned you they have given 15 mcqs and two coding questions mcqs are from operating systems network security mainly os layer okay osi layer they have asked about what is the functionality of each layer and after which layer which layer occurs okay they have asked in such a way and they have given these two questions if you can't understand in this video uh, you can access many of the online platforms they are providing uh, many of the um, coding if you want the uh, this coding uh, if you want this program i will put it in the comment section if you want okay that is the thing i hope you got it if you want have a screenshot okay i will uh, just pause the video and have a screenshot okay this is the full program okay thank you if you feel this video as informative do like share and subscribe them okay thank you